All right, this video is gonna show you how to put Palm desktop on your computer so you can put stick sap on your Sony Clie. So first we go down here and we're just gonna open up a new tab so I can show you how to search for it. All right, fine, we'll search this. So put Palm desktop. <laughs> Desk T. Excuse me while I'm typing while I'm <laughs> doing this. So it's your Palm Desktop. So you're going to want to look for this Palm DB, Palm Desktop DB. They're the ones who've figured out the legacy stuff for Palm Desktop. Okay, so now that you're on this page, scroll down. Here's the download for your Palm Desktop, but I want to show you this. You're also going to need if you have Windows 7, 8, or 10, which I think most of us do at this point, you're going to need to install this driver here too. So this driver, if you go to the link, and you can see it's still this PalmDB website. You scroll down, here are your drivers for your 64 or 32-bit Windows. Um, so anyway, so download those two things. And then I'll do that and I'll meet Went you back. My downloads folder that's in Windows 10. And here are the two files that I downloaded. So I will extract them. Okay. I'm also going to extract the driver. So that's already done. And back here, double click. To install the Palm desktop, tell it yes. I'm in the United States and I speak English. Click next, click next, accept because otherwise you don't get to do anything. Click next, download, this is sure. And all program features will be installed. This will use the most disk space. Sure, let's install it all. And go ahead, install it. This should, probably shouldn't take very long. Let's see. I know it's pretty boring to watch somebody install a program on their computer. We've all done it a thousand times, but uh, sure. Give me a shortcut. That'll make it easier for me. Yep. Go ahead. Check the internet. All right. So apparently you can't check my internet. <laughs> That's okay. I'll figure that out and uh, get it working and then show you what else happens. Yeah, for some reason it can't find my internet. I don't know if that's a driver issue or what's going on, but I'm just gonna tell it, no, don't worry about it. And then let it finish doing its thing. It probably just wants to register something and who cares about that at this point. Okay, so now you give your device a username and the username I've given my CLIA is Ibo Helper. Oops, ER, oops, I'm trying to type. Okay, next. I don't have my device connected, so um, I'll do that later. So I'll tell it to skip. Sure. Finish. Okay. Let's see if this thing will work on Windows 10. Probably have to do something too with the driver, but we'll see. Oh, 
tells us how to install the driver. Okay, that will that is going to be the subject of the next part of this video. All right, so you plug in your Palm Desk, or I'm sorry, you plug in your Sony Clie and you perform a hot sync. And when you do that, your computer will read that, but it will say that your driver is unavailable as it's trying to hot sync. It won't read it until you try to hot sync it. So let's click on that. See if we can find this device in here somewhere. So let's go to the device manager and it does have other drivers, devices. So let's go to update driver and browse my computer. And we want to go to my download folder and go to this driver. See if it'll find it if I just click the folder. Next, tell it to install. And now if you heard that sound, that means that it can now read my CLIA. So it's asking me who my user is. If you look on the CLIA, it says identifying user. So you go over here and select Ibo Helper or whatever you named yourself and it'll hot sync. So now that you can hot sync your CLIA to your Windows 10 computer, you can now install Sticksap on it. Hope this helps somebody.